Hello everyone, welcome to my February 2018 haul video. Welcome back everyone to a new haul video. This is for last month being February of 2018. And if you're not familiar with this video, it's essentially what the title suggests. I go through all of the various things I picked up in a particular month. They usually tend to be book or movie or TV show related. And let's start off this month's haul with a single issue of a comic. And if you know me right now, I don't really collect individual issues, but I thought this one was particularly special because it is Swamp Thing, the Winter Special. And the reason why I bought this particularly is because there is a tribute in the back of this book to the actual Swamp Thing creator, Len Wein. He recently passed away, and I've always been a big fan of the Swamp Thing. This is, of course, a $7.99 book, so you know it's going to be a rather lengthy and rather uh, larger book. As you can tell, it is 80 pages long. But next up here is a hardcover trade of Action Comics Volume 2 from the New 52. This is written by Grant Morrison with the artwork done by Rags Morales. And this is something that I actually thought was out of print and perhaps it really is. And I found this actually in a bargain bin at the local comic book store that I go to. And I actually needed it because I'm collecting all of the hardcover trades from the New 52 run of DC Comics. So it was very fortuitous that I was able to find it and that it was actually cheap. And I actually really like Grant Morrison, so I always kind of pick up all of his work no matter what. And transitioning into the various movies that I picked up, first up here is Blade of the Immortal by Takashi Miike. This is the Best Buy Blu-ray Steelbook Edition. If you're curious about this edition, I did a whole separate review on it, so please check that out if you haven't already. Next up is the UHD 4K release of Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, directed by Martin McDonough. I did a review of this movie already when it came out in theaters. I was debating whether to pick up the Blu-ray or the 4K. It was only actually a $5 difference. Plus, it is a movie that I really, really enjoy. I know a lot of people don't particularly like it, but I thought it was fantastic. Francis McDormand and Sam Rockwell are particularly great in it. Next up here is a new edition of an older film, and that is Misery. This edition is put out by Scream Factory, a horror imprint of Shout Factory, and this edition gave the film a new 4K restoration. It looks much better than the old Blu-ray release that I'm probably pretty sure many of you got or still have, and this is definitely worth the upgrade, particularly because upon rewatching this movie, it is really, really good. It definitely holds up. Next up here are a pair of Warner Archive releases from this month. They were new releases. They were much anticipated releases for me because I am a huge fan of this particular actor, and that is Paul Newman. First up here is Harper. This is a film where Paul Newman plays a private eye. This film came out in the mid-1960s. And second, there is the sequel, which is The Drowning Pool, which came out in the mid-1970s. So they're about nine years apart or so. These Blu-rays look fantastic. They are doing amazing restoration, giving these all new 4K scans. And really, if you're not on the Warner Archive train right now, Definitely do so, especially if you are a fan of older films. Next up here are a pair of Twilight Time releases. They were having a sale on their website this month, and I'm really glad that they did because I've been wanting to pick up these two particular films for a very long time, and I'm glad I didn't miss out on them because most of Twilight Time releases are limited to 3,000 copies, so get them while you can. And first up here is The Train, starring Burt Lancaster, directed by John Frankenheimer. And second up, up here is Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia, which was directed by Sam Peckinpah. These are both of the Encore editions. They were essentially previously released, and those editions sold out, so they re-released them. And thankfully they did, or else I would have missed out. Next up is a newer film in Wind River, which came out last year. I did a separate review for this when it came out in theaters. Definitely check that out if you haven't already. I particularly liked it a lot. Next is Last Flag Flying, which is a film by one of my favorite filmmakers of all time, and that is Richard Linklater. This is a film that I thought was extremely underrated when it came out last year. I think it was only in a couple of hundred theaters theatrically. Didn't get that big of a release, but hopefully 
hopefully people start picking it up now on Blu-ray or streaming because I think it is really good. It has a great cast and great direction by Linklater. Next up here is a Blu-ray Criterion Edition. That is Night of the Living Dead. I just put up a brand new review for this up on my channel. Check it out if you haven't already. I go into all of the details in this packaging, what all the special features are, as well as a little bit of background about how important the movie is when it comes to the horror genre. Also, of course, this is a great film to buy if you're a fan of the late, great George A. Romero. And last, but certainly not least, is a film that I've been wavering to pick up for the last several months, and that is Trainspotting 2, or T2, as they people call it. For me, there's only one real T2, but still, this is Trainspotting 2. This is the sequel to Trainspotting. This is also directed by Danny Boyle, who directed that movie. We got all of the cast back from the original film. I really liked bringing all these characters back and seeing what they are all up to now. Definitely check it out if you're a fan of train spotting and if you're a fan of Danny Boyle. So that has been my entire February 2018 haul. If you want to see anything in any more detail, please let me know. I will either do a particular video on it or just discuss it with you here in the comments somewhere. So if you like this video, please check out the other videos on my channel.